guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with my second layout using the Studio Calico kits that I am trying to um, work my way through and get through them. These are the last ones that I have, so I'm really trying to um, get some pages done with them so I can be done. <laughs> so um, this one is going to be about um, a place where I go and buy a lot of books in our town. So I went ahead and pulled, I'm pulling out some papers here that I think I want to use. I'm basing it off of this little um, happy place transparent word and that is from Pink Fresh Studio and um, that actually came in my last, in the hip kit that I'm working on right now for April's hip kit, but I pulled it out because I knew I wanted to use it with this picture and then that kind of just started off my idea for this page. So I'm going with green obviously since that is green and um, the first one that jumped out at me was um, that Starburst paper there. And I wanted to have a neutral, obviously, as well, because that's a very busy paper. And um, so I pulled out this craft, and that came with the Studio Calico kits. And then the Starburst paper is from Studio Tecturic, and it's just a really pretty green um, kind of like a sunburst paper. And I really like to use to use these patterns, types of patterns, like the burst with like a small photo, which is what I have here. It's a small little two by two um, picture. And then in the kit came this little book page. So it's like a little um, page literally ripped out of a book. And so I wanted to do obviously something book themed. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it with this one. And then I'm gonna back it with that um, pretty bright pink doily that came in the kit as well. So I kind of like the way that that looks. Um, I'm also going to use this green paper here from Studio Calico just to make it um, another little layer here and to kind of help ground where my title is going to go and embellishing and all that. Um, I do want to separate it a little bit from the burst paper so I'm going to put it back onto this craft cardstock and cut it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my stuff stuck down here. And since that burst paper is pretty bold, I'm not gonna do a ton on here. It's not gonna be like overly embellished or anything. Um, but I like the way that that looks. And then my title Happy Place is just gonna go uh, right there. I put it down here just to see, but it really like got lost. So it looks pretty good up above onto that paper there. Um, I really like this gray tag, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it, and that actually had some ribbon on it from the kit, but I'm probably not gonna use that ribbon. I'm not a big ribbon person. Um, but I like the tag, so I'm gonna put it there and use it for journaling. And then I'm going through with these wood veneer alphabets. These are from Studio Calico that came in the kit as well, and I'm going to spell out the word Goodwill because that is where this picture was taken at my local Goodwill. And if you're on my booktube channel, <laughs> I have another channel, and it's um, all about books, and um, it's called Sarah's Nightstand. But um, I go to Goodwill a lot, and when I do go to Goodwill, I We'll do haul videos and kind of show you what I got because our local Goodwill is really good about their book selection. Like a lot of people will donate their books and I've gotten so many books from there that are almost brand new looking and I get them for like one or two dollars. So um, that's kind of my go-to place to go book shopping in town. It's kind of the only, it's the only place to really buy used books. Um, the only other place that I can buy books here in town is Walmart and I don't usually do that too often. <laughs> but um yeah, I, um, that's kind of my go-to place here right now to go shopping. So, um, okay, what else did I do? I'm going to go ahead and put these Goodwill letters down. Um, I did pull out some green and white twine from my stash, and I'm going to put that through the tag there after I do my journaling. But I do like these wood veneer. They're tall and skinny. They're a good size and a good font. I like them. The only problem with those, though, is that like not a ton come in there. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so picky right now. I'm just listening to myself. I'm like whiny whinerson, just quit whining and use your stuff, Sarah. It's fine. Okay, so I got that done, and I think I'm going to go ahead and get my journaling done here as well. And 
and I'm going to go ahead and use the tag here. And I'm just talking about how, um, you know, Goodwill is kind of like my little secret place that I go to go book shopping all the time. It's not really a secret. I talk about it, but, <laughs> but I literally, um, cannot go in there without finding at least one thing that I want to read. <laughs> so it's really annoying. <laughs> Sometimes I have to just stay away because I know I'll find something. But, all right, so I'm going to use this twine in on my tag here. I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. And what else am I doing? Um, I think I grabbed star sequins, but I don't think I end up using them. Yeah, I don't. I saw this stamp. Okay, this stamp came in the kit, and it's from Studio Calico, and it's um, a bunch of little dash lines, like up and down, and they kind of represent books to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these three times over here and um, use that. So I thought that was like a nice little added touch. It kind of mimics the bookshelves a little bit. And then that bookshelf washi that I used um, right underneath that green paper is from Kelly Perky. I forgot to mention that. Um, she had a very limited supply of that specialty washi tape in her shop a while ago, and I jumped on it as soon as I saw her announce it, it that it was going to be in her shop. So um, I absolutely love that washi tape. And since I'm a big reader, I scrapbook about books a lot. So um, I have been using it. And luckily, it's a really big roll, so I can use it for a while. <laughs> Okay, so I used up some enamel dots, some of the kind of lime green color, and then I'm going to use a yellow geotag here next to Goodwill. And then that's going to be it. I have not put the happy place down yet, but I will in just a second, but I do that off camera. I don't know why <laughs> I turned the camera off before I put it down. Um, but that's going to be it. That completes my layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please let me know if you have any questions, and I will be happy to try to answer them. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.